Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fuel Fishing Channel. Today is April 5th, 2016. I'm here at the Delaware Canal State Park. As you guys can see, I'm right here at lock number five. Beautiful day outside. As you guys can see, there's no one around fishing at least. But you know, there's a reason for that. We got a cold front coming in in Pennsylvania. Actually already came in. So, you know, air temperatures are pretty low today. And you guys probably feel it already. There, there are plenty of wind, right? So I'm the only crazy dude out here who's going to do some fishing today. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit right now in April, folks. In April, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, <laughs> with winds 15 miles per hour. So I have the place all to myself. And as you guys know, uh, you know, the Delaware Canal is stocked with trout. Let me sh quickly show you guys here, right? There's a notice right here by the Pennsylvania. Oh, excuse me. Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Let me see if I can get closer so I can give you guys a good view here. Oh, yeah, this is the closer, closest I can get. It says the stock trout waters. Those waters are stocked with trout, right? So there we go. Trout season was about three days ago. I don't know what are, con are the conditions here. I don't know if we will be able to catch some trout, but we will see, hopefully so. Stay tuned. And before we get to fishing, right? I just wanted to actually <laughs> talk to you guys a little bit about the history of the Delaware Canal, you know? Uh, you know, I mean, this is a historical site, right? When you guys walk the Delaware Canal, there are plenty of these little historical signs here that tell you a little bit about the history of this place, right? And as I like to tell people, you can appreciate your surroundings a lot. You can go somewhere and say, wow, this place is beautiful. But if you know the history behind it, you can appreciate it so much more which is why i'm going to give you guys a brief two three minute history lesson here at lock five on the delaware canal okay and you know you guys may have seen already my past videos i have fished over here before linking the video above right right at the lock five okay and you know you guys can take a look at this structure here right this is a very interesting structure right here right there's no water down there at the moment then the water begins over here it goes all the way but what exactly was this structure used here on the canal have you do you guys have any idea if not you stay tuned for a little history okay so back in the late 1800s and beginning of the 1900s here in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, especially Philadelphia, had a very huge industrial bloom. Okay, the, the industry here just went up a lot. People were working all around the Schuylkill River and the Delaware River, okay, producing all kinds of different products. And when you have an industrial bloom of any kind, usually you need some kind of fuel right you need fuel to run the machinery you need fuel to create the products and this is where the canals okay not only the delaware canal but you also have the schoolgirl canal you have the manayank canal this is where all these canals actually come into play okay these canals were built back in the days at the beginning of the 1900s and, and some of them even older than that so that people could transport a source of fuel all the way from what we know to be the suburbs of Philadelphia to Philadelphia, okay? And that source of fuel at that time was coal. So these canals were used to transport coal back in the days. And right here we have the Lock 5, right, at the, at the Delaware Canal. And, you know, this structure right here, right, was used for boats, okay? So boats would come down the canal. Let me show you real quick. Boats would come from that way, right? Nearly a century ago, decades ago, and come here to this lock, beginning of this lock. There used to be probably a house around here, a small house that used to collect tolls. So the boat would stop over here, pay the toll, just like you pay the toll for cars when you go to, you know, pass bridges or go to other states. And after paying its toll, the dude would ask this guy here, the boat guy, to go inside this platform, 
okay there would be a gauge the gate would be right around here where you see right this is a structure the guy would close the gauge okay and after closing the gauge the boat would be trapped inside this little space and he they would fill this space with water because as you guys know boats float on top of water now that the, the boat is trapped inside this little cubicle here the water would rise and so would the boat so that the boat could move from the lower level of the canal to a higher level right which right here after the boat would be all the way up right the boat would be able to continue going towards the canal upwards this is the beauty of it right the boat would float all the way up here this place used to not be land this place used to be probably a part of the lock and the boat could go from the lower level to the upper level so this is a little bit of history for you guys to appreciate the lock here the lock five at the delaware canal state park okay when you guys fish in your home waters when you guys fish anywhere in the united states of america you should always think right why is it like this why there is a structure right over here why why and when you learn the history you start to appreciate these things so much more you know and nowadays in 2016 this place is stocked with trout and we're gonna try my i'm gonna try my best to catch some trout to show you guys right now let's do it fish on what we got here what you gotta be kidding me i thought for sure a trout would go into attack and stuff since you know oh since air temperatures are so cold but the first fish of the day actually turns out to be a bluegill what okay a small bluegill here from the delaware canal on a piece of night crawler first fish of the day oh goodness boy okay time to release this little bluegill here there we go i guess even though the air temperature is kind of cold right i mean just got cold for one two days the water temperature is still around 40s 50s that's why you know the sunfish are still biting right that makes sense but anyways let's continue hunting for these trout let's see what we can catch fish on fish on first trout of the day he is trashing my friend come up here you ain't going nowhere you got to be dinner and it took a while for me to get this one I'm not gonna lie to you guys check this out huh yeah <laughs> first trout from the delaware canal man it took quite a while for me to get this fish all right dinner Whoa, 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 got a bite, got a bite. What the hell? Fish on! Whoa, that was fast. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Where is it? Oh, right here, right here. Wow, feisty. As soon as I dropped the power bait. Yeah, third one of the day, man. That fella was right there waiting for it. Small, not very big, in the range of 10 inches. As soon as I dropped the power bait, you know, I, I saw the rod going crazy. Awesome. Yeah. Well, as always, inhale the hook, right? We are talking about power bait. It's going to be dinner anyways. It's stocked ramen trout. Beautiful colors. Got to give it credit. Love the leopard style, you know. <laughs> All right, let's catch another one. Delaware Canal is so unpredictable that it makes my head hurt. It's not like the penny pack. Oh, I'm getting a bite here, I think. Yep, yep, I'm getting a bite right here in front of me. Yeah, yeah, come on, get it, get it. I'm 
not sure if the fish is on or not. Fish on! Right in front of me. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one, folks. Oh, shit, this is a nice fish. Holy cow. This is a nice trout. Oh, my God. Short, but so fat. What the hell is this trout here? Oh, no, I need to get it. I can't let it go away. Have to leap it, maybe. Oh, my God, it's... Oh, my God. What is this? This is an anomaly. Holy cow, dude. Whoa, what is this? Dude, I have never seen a trout like this. I mean, for sure this is a rainbow trout, but seriously, uh, not leaping is not recommended for trout. I'm taking this one din for dinner anyways, but not recommended. They got teeth, okay? But check this out. Oh my goodness. This is an anomaly trout right here. What the hell? It's short, but it's super fat. Oh my God, man. That's why fishing, you know, you never know what you're gonna catch. I'm gonna weigh this guy too, cause this guy is super, super chubby. You know, we're gonna see how big this fish is. Whew. All right, folks, before I put this fish away, we're gonna, we're gonna weigh this fish. Dude, this is an anomaly. I have caught so many trout in my life. And yet I have never caught one like this. You know, like th th this type. It's short and fat. Short and fat, check this out. Check how fat this fish is. Oh my God, check this out. This is, dude, I'm so psyched still, you know? Beautiful colors, man. but look at how fat. This is fat, man. So we're gonna check the weight of this fish because it's so, it's so short, you know? Let's see how much does this fish weight. Oh boy. Oh, I'm still shaking from the fight. You know, this is, this is an anomaly, anomaly man. All right, let's see. Holy cow, one, one, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, one and a half pound, man. This is 1.63 1 pounds. One and a half pound trout right here. But like I said, you know, it's short, but it's like super fat. Check this out. Oh my God, it's like an obese, an obese trout from the Delaware Canal. <laughs> all right well let's let's catch some more man all right this is gonna be a good dinner all right folks giving you guys a final update here on the delaware canal april 5th 2015 i caught four rainbow trout so far and just a few sunnies you know and i don't think i'm gonna stay here until i catch my limit my time is very limited it's about oh my god it's too late already you know i'm about <laughs> i'm about to leave but you guys as you guys saw you know we finished with four trout for the day including that super bizarre obese trout okay that was one and a half pounds and measured only 13 inches long so super short and super fat I'm calling a day, you know, gotta pack up, get something to eat, go home. It is extremely cold, 35 degrees Fahrenheit right now with 15 miles per hour winds, you know, I, I, I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Alright folks, tie lines until next video.